Hi, this is Zeta Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a non-exact differential equation. So let's get started. Problem: Solve y dx plus x plus x cube y square dy equals to zero. Solution: Given differential equation. y dx plus x plus x cube y square dy equals to zero. Consider the equation one, which is in m dx plus m dy equals to zero form, where. M equals to y, and n equals to x plus x cube y square. If the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of m with respect to x, then we can say that the given differential equation is an exact equation. So now we will find the partial derivative of m with respect to y, and partial derivative of n with respect to x. We are having m equals to y and n equals to x plus x cube y square. Partial derivative of m with respect to y is equals to dou by dou y of for m equals to y. This is equals to partial derivative of y with respect to y is one. Now let's find the partial derivative of m with respect to x. This is equals to dou by dou x of x. Plus x cube y square. This equals to do by do x of x plus do by do x of x cube y square. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x, so y will be treated as constant. This equals to partial derivative of x with respect to x is one plus y square is constant. So you can write this as constant into partial derivative of x cube with respect to x is equal to one plus y square into partial derivative of x cube with respect to x is three x square is equal to one plus three x square y square. So it's clear that partial derivative of m with respect to y, which is equal to one, which is not equal to do n by do x, since do n by do x is one plus three x square plus y square. Therefore. Do n by do y is not equals to do n by do x. From this, we can say that one is non-exact, right? Fine. Now we'll reduce the given differential equation to an exact equation using inspection method. Okay, by using suitable integrating factor. So we have. The given differential equation y dx plus x plus x cube y square into dy equals to zero. Then y dx plus x dy plus x cube y square dy equals to zero. Since we know that y dx Plus x dy equals to differential x y. Then we can replace the first two terms by differential x y plus. In the second term, if you can, if you can get one more y, you'll get x cube y cube. So that you can write that x cube y cube as x y whole cube, right? Okay. After that. Will eliminate x y whole cube from the second term by using integrating factors one by x y whole cube. Okay, so in order to get one y in the second term, what we'll do is we'll simply multiply and divide y. Okay, then differential x y plus x cube into y square into y is y cube 
by y into dy equals to 0. Then the above equation becomes differential xy plus x cube y cube can be written as x y whole cube by y into d y equals to 0. Fine. So here you are having differential d a y d y right. So it will be easy if you have only functions of y here to integrate. Okay. Likewise you are having differential d x y here. So we need all the functions of x, y here, right? So what we'll do is we'll eliminate x, y whole cube from the second term. In order to eliminate x, y whole cube from the second term, what we'll do is we'll divide the whole equation by x, y whole cube. Okay, so here the integrating factor is 1 by x, y whole cube. suitable integrating factor is 1 by x y whole cube. Here the equation is reduced to x z by multiplying integrating factor to the given equation. Okay, we'll check later whether the reduced equation is x z or not. I'll show you. Then just multiply the Integrating factor to the above equation. 1 by xy whole cube into differential xy plus xy whole cube by y into dy equals to 0. Then, you will get xy whole cube into differential xy plus xy whole cube by y into x y whole cube into d y equals to 0. So here x y whole cube gets cancelled. So we have eliminated x y whole cube from the second term. And also we got the function in x y. Right? Since we are having differential x y. So it will be easy to integrate. The reduced equation is 1 by xy whole cube into differential xy plus 1 by y into dy equals to 0. Now we can perform integration. Integrating integral 1 by xy whole cube differential xy plus integral 1 by y dy equals to 0. So you can write this as integral xy power minus 3 into differential xy plus integral 1 by y dy equals to 0. Then integral xy power minus 3 is xy integral xy power minus 3 into differential xy is xy power minus 3 plus 1 by minus 3 plus 1 plus integral 1 by y dy is log mod y equals to constant log c xy power minus 2 by minus 2 plus log y equals to log c. Then, since we know that x power minus n equals to 1 by x power n, so you can write this as minus 1 by 2, 2 into, you can write x power minus 2 as 1 by x power, 1 by xy whole square, right? Plus 
log y equals to log c. Now, multiply with minus on both sides, then we'll get minus of minus 1 by 2 times xy whole square plus log y equals to minus log c. Then 1 by 2 times xy whole square minus log y equals to minus c. Now carry this minus log y to RHS. It becomes plus log y. Then 1 by 2 times xy whole square equals to log y minus log c. Since we know that log a minus log b equals to log a by b. Then 1 by 20xy whole square equals to log y by c. Then this becomes 1 equals to 2 times xy whole square into log y by c or you can just rewrite it as 2 times xy whole square into log y by c equals to 1 or 2x square y square log y by c equals to 1 which is the required general solution which is the required general solution okay so this completes the problem so now check let's check whether the reduced equation is exact or not. Okay. We'll just verify it. So the reduced equation is the equation obtained by multiplying integrating factor to the given equation. Right. So there is a equation 2. Now we are going to check whether this equation is exact or not. Then 1 by x cube y cube into y dx plus x plus x cube y square dy equals to 0. Then y by x cube y cube dx plus x by x cube y cube plus x cube y square by x cube y cube into dy equals to 0. One y cancels, one y gets cancelled in the first term. So, you'll get 1 by x cube y square dx plus. So, here 1x gets cancelled. You'll get 1 by x square y cube plus x cube gets cancelled and 2y gets cancelled. That is 1 by y into dy equals to 0. Okay. So, this is a reduced equation which is in m1 dx plus n1 dy equals to 0 form where m1 equals to 1 by x cube y square and n1 equals to 1 by x square y cube plus 1 by y. Now, let's check whether do m1 by do y equals to dou n1 by dou x or not. Okay. 
So firstly, we'll find the partial derivative of m1 with respect to y. That is dou y, dou y of m1, 1 by x cube y square. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so 1 by x cube is treated as constant. So let's write the constant outside the derivative. 1 by x cube into dou y dou y of 1 by y square. This equals to 1 by x cube into dou y dou y of, you can write 1 by y square as y power minus 2. This equals to 1 by x cube into partial derivative of y power minus 2 with respect to y is minus 2 into y power minus 2 minus 1. Which is equals to minus 2 into y power minus 3 by x cube. So, you got this, right? You can write y power minus n as 1 by y power n. Then this becomes minus 2 by x cube into 1 by y cube, which is equal to minus 2 by x cube y cube, which is equal to minus 2 by, you can write x cube y cube as x y whole cube. So, the partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is minus 2y xy whole cube. Now, let's find the partial derivative of n1 with respect to x. Partial derivative of n1 with respect to x equals to dou y dou x of 1 by x square y cube plus 1 by y. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to x, so y will be treated as constant. This equals to partial derivative of first term plus partial derivative of second term. Which is equals to here 1 by y cube is constant, right? So you can write this as 1 by y cube into partial derivative of 1 by x square with respect to x. Okay. Plus partial derivative of a constant with respect to x is 0. This equals to 1 by y cube into partial derivative of. You can write 1 by x square as x power minus 2. is equals to 1 by y cube into partial derivative of x power minus 2 is minus 2 into x power minus 2 minus 1. This is equals to minus 2 into x power minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 by y cube. You know that x power minus n equals to 1 by x power n. Then you can write x power minus 3 as 1 by x cube. Again. You can write this as minus 2 by x cube, y cube can be written as x, y, whole cube. So, it's clear that partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n1 with respect to x. Therefore, do m1 by do y equals to do n1 by do x. From this, we can say that the reduced equation is... Exact. Okay. Fine. So we have seen a problem from non-exact equation in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.